skincare and stuff for people beforehand so the models all have great skin and um, so we're going for subtle eyes which are light browns and tops with a wearable wing liner not the graphic liner that's been in fashion and red lips and glosses are back in fashion as well so a lot of the girls will go for like a nude toned gloss uh, blush is big for the season um, yeah so that's kind of everything <laughs> So today the look we're kind of going for is a uh, vintage down style, it's so popular at the moment for weddings, very soft flowy look, it's beautiful and all in tear and everything. So today we're going to show different kind of styles that you can do. Tim Kelleher, Kelleher's Toyota and Trilly here welcoming you to a fantastic day in the Addo Hotel Heights this morning for the new collection fashion event which Kellehers are delighted and proud to be involved in. There's, there's massive excitement and a great old buzz here this morning as there was in Kellehers as well during the week in the lead up to the event as there was in Toyota. So we have some, of the, some product as well to show you later on but we know it's going to be a great day and we look forward to a fantastic event which I know is going to be a superb success. <laughs> Welcome to you all, looking absolutely gorgeous. I met loads of you on the red carpet a little bit earlier on. Thank you to everybody who spoke to me. Some of you who hadn't had quite as much Prosecco, I think, uh, refused to talk to me. Busy week for you. Our photography exhibition opened. Would you like to tell everybody about what happened this week? Yeah, I am. Um, I, as you all know, I or you may know, I was very ill last year. I had cancer, and since my uh, illness, I have become an ambassador for ARC Cancer Support Services. So, as a way to honour them and to thank them, myself and my husband Rory decided we wanted to do something special and honour the kind of things that I love most, which are art, photography, and fashion. So I came up with this idea to launch a photographic um, exhibition, um, especially using the, the work of the most extraordinary Irish designers. We collaborated with Philip Tracy, Simone Rocha, her father John gave us, very graciously gave us a piece from his archive and came over to Ireland for the exhibition launch. Um, the exhibition is currently on in uh, 51 Dawson Street, unfortunately closed tomorrow, but if anyone happens to be up in Dublin. Um, so far we've raised over 35,000 for the charity. Um, and boutiques, there's still lots more fashion to come over the next hour or so. Uh, we're also going to talk now about um, Best Dressed Lady, so that is happening as well. So tell us, where did you get your outfit? Uh, my dress is by Joy Hines, so you can buy Joy Hines online or in Grafton Street and Dublin. So uh, it landed on Tuesday, so I had it for Wednesday. Five Kerry based boutiques. So we have an extravaganza of style. I want you, of course, to continue to enjoy your meals, to enjoy the fine wine, and to support our local boutiques.
What an incredible treat we have for you this afternoon. Now we are moving to designers at dessert. And I am so honored to be able to welcome Carl Canelli, who has collaborated with Tina Griffin and has created the most beautiful collection. Congratulations on your collection. So elegant. What were your inspirations? Thank you very much. And my clients, always my clients, they love luxury, they love clothes that fit them, that suit them, easy to wear, and that they can wear time again. And it's just wonderful to have so many encouraging clients and ladies here today. Congratulations again. Both of these ladies are based in Kerry. We are so fortunate to have such amazing talent here in Bike Beside us. Congratulations and thank you. to sustainability in every aspect of her work. As she told me herself, she throws nothing out. And she creates beauty out of discarded materials. So the winner of the Kelleher's Sustainability Award is milliner Kathy Thrush. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so, uh, sustainability has been something I was brought up with. I was called second-hand rose from the moment I was born. I was always in charity shop clothes. and So it's something I've grown up with, and it's something I'm taking my kids on the same road, you know. But, you know, we live in such a wonderful world that it really, it's such a shame that we're destroying it in the way we are. So if there's any way that every single one of us can do one little job, just one little thing, then isn't it just worth it?